Niger Republic restates ban on flights from Nigeria. <laughs> I know that Niger Republic at the beginning of this their military junta said uh, taking over, they closed their airspace against other unfriendly African nations and from foreign nations. Okay, but along the line, it looks like they had to loosen the knots a bit and allow a bit of flex flexibility and allow flights to land. But now they have, for Nigeria, they have reinstated um, the banning of flight from Nigeria into Niger Republic. That means they have closed um, they have closed their airspace again against Nigerian uh, airlines. <laughs> there must be a reason for that too. Let's get into the details. The military government in Niger Republic has reiterated its ban on flights from Nigeria, insisting that flights emanating from Nigeria would not be allowed to land in Niger. Hmm. It however stated that the restriction does not affect commercial flights that fly over Nigerian uh, airspace without landing here. Okay, without landing there. This was contained in a notice of airmen notam, okay, issued by the country's uh, airspace management authority on February 6, 2024. Nigeria had earlier issued a statement um, restating its earlier ban on flights to uh, from uh, Niger in a not time as well, stating that the action was taken as part of the ECOWAS resolution. Okay. Now, in the not time issued by Niger Republic, the airspace authority stated that the country's airspace is open to all national and international commercial flights from ground to unlimited uh, except for Nigerian flight <coughs> to uh, from Nigeria. Oh, okay. So they already opened this thing, but uh, it's only Nigeria owned that they sustained. So this restriction does not affect commercial flights that fly over Nigerian airspace without landing there. However, it is recalled that ADB be automatic dependent surveillance broadcast or radar transponders for surveillance and communication must remain on for any flight taking place in the Niger Republic airspace. So on the other hand, the Niger Republic airspace still remains closed for all military operational and other operational flights. These militaries or special flights are only permitted subject to prior authorization from the competent authorities. This circular, which only concerns Niger and Nigeria, does not repeal, uh, does not repeal no northern, no northern air. Uh, okay, does not repeal no northern in place. The circular stated. So Nigeria had three days ago issued a northern retreating the ban of flight from Niger or to Niger, saying that the decision was part of the ECOWAS resolution against Niger Republic. So according to the Nigerian Airspace Management Agency, NAMA, the restriction included the directive, but not commercial flight from Niger, uh, from Niger should overfly Nigerian airspace and no flight from any Nigerian state should overfly Niger's airspace. So the NOTAM was contained in a letter titled ECOWAS Restriction on the, Niger on the Republic of Nigeria from Nigerian Airspace Management Agency Aeronautical Information Services and signed by the Director of Air Traffic Services, Tayo Drone, on behalf of the agency's Managing Director and Chief Executive. So the letter stated, in accordance with ECOWAS resolutions, all commercial flights from Niger to Nigeria or from Nigeria to Niger or from Niger overflying Nigeria or any state of overflying Nigeria to Niger are suspended. However, the letter added, these restrictions do not affect overflight aircraft from Niger airspace aircraft in a state of emergency and special flights. 
So he directed further that special flights are to obtain authorization from the permanent secretary ministry of aviation and aerospace okay after the coup of july 26 2023 that ousted his duly elected president mohammed bazoum and installed general abdurrahman the chani ECOWAS issued resolutions against the country which included the plan of flight to the west african nation hmm. it's a grammar so what that means what Nigeria did is a retaliation to what Nigeria did. Nigeria, following the COAS ban, banned Nigerian uh, Niger uh, flight from coming to Nigeria or Nigerian flight going into Niger. So, and I also know that Niger closed their airspaces against the Nigeria and other ECOWAS nations and also against France and other nations that are not on their interest. So, but along the line, Niger opened their airspace but still sustain that of uh, ban against Nigeria. So but right now, because Nigeria issues their own NOTAM, and then in that NOTAM, they are still banning uh, flights from Niger or to Niger because of ECOWAS restriction. Therefore, Niger has also reinstated the ban against Nigeria against the Nigeria airlines. So that's that. So he said it for taps. Okay, this is tit for tat. Absolute tit for tat. Okay, so now that all of this ban, 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 ban is happening, who is losing and who is gaining? First of all, there's no, there's no special economic gain for Nigeria, you know, um, for the on the flights that are transporting between Niger, Niger and Nigeria. No serious economic gain. And on the other hand, the Nigerians are not really losing anything. Probably the only thing they are losing is food that comes from northern Nigeria into Niger. Okay? But I know, and whether we like it or not, their borders are still porous and smuggling will still be taking place on the ground level. And nobody is checking that because those people, they see themselves as brothers and their borders are very, very porous. And not only not anyway, the same way the border in the south is also porous between Nigeria and the Benin Republic, Togo, Ghana and all of that. So ordinarily there shouldn't be serious restriction because we are the same. Unfortunately, the issue in Niger, uh, which it has to do with the military uh, taking over the country's uh, leadership, has generated all of this for now. But again, we should ask the question: What led to Niger military taking over the government? Is bad governance and all ECOWAS leaders are bad in their independent in their individual nations and uh, this so-called democracy has not helped those people and that's how they say the only way to correct the menace of democracy is taking over clean up the system before going back to democracy again whether ECOWAS like it or not that is their decision and following all of that they have even removed themselves from ECOWAS okay and they have written to AU leadership telling the African Union that they are out of ECOWAS so <laughs> this one get us if I'm telling you. Equas is just backing, they can't bite. Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger are together and they are tight. They have formed a coalition and they're getting their support from Russia now, with the Russian Wagner fighters already in those nations. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment over this airspace ban against Nigeria and Nigeria also against uh, Niger.